Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today we're going to look at GitHub integration with Xcode version 12, specifically adding your GitHub account and personal access token to Xcode, creating and pushing a new repo within Xcode for both playgrounds and projects, and creating a Git repo and cloning it using the terminal. Now that we have Xcode open, we can go to our Preferences tab, either by going to the top left here and clicking Preferences or pressing Command comma. We want to go to our Accounts tab, click the plus button down in the bottom left, and scroll down until we find GitHub. Click Continue. For our account name, we put in our GitHub account name. Now for a personal access token, we have to make this on the GitHub website. There's detailed instructions if you click this link here, but for now let's just open GitHub and I'll walk you through how to do that. With GitHub open, we can click our avatar in the top right, Settings, and on the left, scroll down until you get to Developer Settings, Personal Access Tokens, and Generate New Token. We'll call this one Xcode, and now below we have to select scopes that we want to define for this access token. We'll give it access to the repo, public key, notifications, user, delete repo, and that's it for now. So now we can click generate token, copy it to our clipboard, and GitHub is warning us that we won't be able to see this again. If you ever lose your access token, you can always delete it or revoke it and then generate new ones again and minimize. Back here, paste in our access token and click sign in. Now our GitHub account is connected to Xcode and we're ready to start working with GitHub. Now let's look at how to create a new repository within Xcode for both playgrounds and projects. Let's start with a blank playground. We'll put it in Goose and then we'll put it in Xcode projects and GitHub integration. We'll call this Gs Hub. Now that we have our new playground, we need to initialize a GitHub repository. And we know that we don't already have one. We can show the source control navigator or press command two, click on the gear in the bottom left and see that there's not really any options available for us for source control. And that's because we haven't initialized a GitHub repository for this playground. So Xcode has no way of knowing that this is going to be tied to source control. So to initialize our GitHub repository, let's open up a terminal session. Here we'll change directory to documents and our backup file here, Xcode projects and our GitHub integration folder. We can see the contents of the current directory by doing an ls minus la and we see we have our cheese hub playground. So let's initialize our GitHub repository, git init. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. And now if we do an ls minus la again, we have our .git file. Now that we have our git file, let's minimize terminal and go back to our Xcode playground. Now here, if we click on the gear, we see that we still don't have our source control options available. We created our repo, but it must be a bug that Xcode doesn't actually know about it yet. So what we'll do is close our playground and then reopen it. And now you see we have our GitHub integration and we're on our main branch. If we click the gear in the bottom left, we now have our new options available for us. Before we create a new GitHub integration remote, let's just verify that we don't already have one on Git. Let's go back to our repositories and you see we have Xcode tutorials and Swift basics, but there's no GitHub integration repo yet. So back in Xcode, let's click the gear again and do new GitHub integration remote. So that way we can push our playground to GitHub. This looks fine. GitHub demo. Remote name, origin, that's fine too. Let's go ahead and create. And you'll actually see that we get an error here. Reference, refs, heads, master, not found. 
Okay, well, let's click OK, and we'll go back to our Safari here and refresh the page. And we see we do have a GitHub integration repository now. This seems like another bug in Xcode. So if we click on our GitHub integration, it looks like it's a new repository and there's nothing actually in here yet. And you'll notice that if we go back to our Xcode here and try to create this again, we'll get an error saying the repository, basically the name already exists on this account. So let's click OK and we'll hit cancel. But we already know and saw that uh, we do have a repository here that we can start pushing code to. Let's go back to our playground. And just to make sure this actually works, let's click our source control tab in the top left here. Commit. Make sure that we commit our playground. And in the bottom left, let's put our first commit message and commit one file. Now we're ready to push. So let's go ahead and push our code. And that was successful. But let's go ahead and verify in Safari. Click Command R to refresh the page. And here's our playground. First commit. So it just seems like creating new repositories and adding new remotes from Xcode is a little bit buggy, but it still works. Just to be sure, let's go back to our Xcode playground and add some code, commit the changes, and then push them. var the rare black lotus. Let's commit our changes with option command C. Check that file too. Added black lotus. Commit four files. And now let's push. Let's go back to Safari and refresh. And we have added black lotus. Back in Xcode. So just to reiterate, if you're going to use the gear down here to add a new remote, you may or may not get those error messages that we saw before. Now let's look at how to add a Git repo to any new project you might build in Xcode. Let's go to new project. Select Mac OS. We'll do app and here our product name. This will just be called Black Lotus. We'll use the storyboard. Swift to keep all these default for now. Next. Now let's create a new folder above GitHub integration. So you can hit command and up arrow to go back one folder. Inside of our Xcode projects, we'll create a new folder here and we'll call this Black Lotus Project. Create. In here, we want to make sure that this is selected. Create Git repository on my Mac. So when we create our project, now we have our new Mac OS app here, along with a Git repository. So let's confirm that by looking at our terminal, but also looking at the source control tab up in the top left. Press Command 2. We can see that we have our main branch and we have all of our source control options available. Let's open our terminal window here. Type cd back black lotus project and we'll do an ls minus la cd black lotus and we have our get file here. Back in Xcode, let's do the same thing. Gear in the bottom left, add a new black lotus remote new black lotus project hit create and this time it works we didn't get an error we only got the error with the playground which is better because you're probably more likely to be pushing a actual project rather than a playground to github so now let's go back to safari and verify that our new project is here click swift goose 5 and there it is black lotus Scroll down, we see that all our files are here. Again, just to verify, let's go back to Xcode. Go to our view controller, and we'll 
put in a print statement. The rare is Black Lotus. Now when we run our code, we see the rare is Black Lotus. You'll see an M has appeared next to our view controller showing that this file has been modified. Let's be sure to push our new code up to Git. Let's stop our program. Option Command C to commit our changes. Added black lotus print statement. And we'll commit our one file. Go back up to source control and click push. Origin main, that's fine. And now let's verify in Safari. Go back here, refresh our page, and we have added black lotus print statement. Let's go back to repositories, and finally, let's create a new repository here, and we'll call this one Cheesecoin. Since we plan on building out Cheesecoin in the future, let's create a repository. Let's scroll down, so we have a couple different options available for us for actually filling out a repository. Let's look at this first one here. Back in Xcode, let's create a new playground, so shift Option Command N. Next. And we'll put this one in Documents. Xcode Projects. Let's make another new folder. Call this Cheese Coin. Create. Apparently, we misspelled our playground name, but that's okay. We'll worry about that some other time. Let's open up our terminal session and change back a couple directories. Back to our Xcode projects directory. If we do an ls, we see that we have our cheese coin directory. Let's change directory to cheese coin. ls again. We see we have our playground. If we do an ls minus la, we do not have a git file yet. Let's open Safari back up to get the commands that we want. Let's start with git init. Git init. And we can add all of our files by doing git add dot git commit m first commit back in safari git remote add origin and then git push u origin main or master rather Great, back in Safari, refresh the page. And now we have our Cheesecoin repository filled with our first playground. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the dinner bell for notifications.